Well, in our case, I believe it could be here to last. Uh, I think that if you look at the demand drivers, e-commerce, sustainable packaging, I think the company is in a very good space and our industry is in a very good space. Uh, so if you look at those particular drivers, I think it's, it's here to stay. I think if you, you know, you're, you're, you're better at economics than, than myself, but I would say that if you look at the stimuluses that are going into the United States and into Europe, uh, and if you look at the opening up of the economies, which hopefully will come uh, following the, um, uh, the, the, the vaccination program, uh, if it ever gets done, I think that uh, you're going to see strong demand across, across, across the world. So I do think it's actually a structural change that will happen for a period of time. How long that lasts for, Steve? I don't know, but it certainly could be a couple of years. Uh, and I think, especially in our America's business, which I'm, you, you'll see was very, very strong, uh, I think that when you see the amount of stimulus that is going into middle income and lower income uh, people, that is generally uh, transferred down to the Latin American regions uh, by, by uh, um, money sent to relatives, I think that's going to present us a very strong growth opportunity in, in, in that region. Is inflation in your raw materials going to get out of control, Tony? Uh, to some extent, it already has. We're seeing waste paper, our largest uh, commodity uh, input cost, uh, going through the roof. It's at a, an all-time high. Uh, when we see in our bag and box business, we see uh, polymers going uh, an all-time high. So, yes, there is very strong cost inflation, which thankfully we're able to pass through paper, and then we are going to pass through to boxes. And that's what gives us such a, a great degree of optimism for the rest of the year that you know, it's almost automatic that a lot of the increases that have gone into paper will now go into boxes uh, and uh, as we go through the year. And that's going to set us up um, very well as we move into the next couple of years, especially if there's good GDP gro growth. Tony, good morning to you. You don't see any uh, rolling over of this peak demand we've seen around e-commerce because of the pandemic lockdowns. I mean, obviously, people are starting to emerge from their shelters now and live life as it used to be lived. Uh, they're going back to the stores. Do you think that will have an impact on e-commerce demand and ultimately on your box supply? I think, Jeff, I think it would be unrealistic to believe that 7% uh, demand growth is going to continue. I think what we would say is that uh, we're a GDP plus plus business now, um, because I think that the two items I said, e-commerce and, and sustainable packaging, are, the, are here to stay. I think e-commerce may slow down a little bit, uh, but I think that people have learned to shop differently, uh, and the convenience of e-commerce is there. Our customers are asking us, more and more for e-commerce offerings, as well as more and more sustainable packaging offerings. So I think it's here to stay, Jeff. I, I think it, it may not be at 7%, but it's certainly going to be at uh, above uh, GDP, uh, more so than in the past.